sixth grade, module two, lesson nine, classwork. Example one. So here, what we're doing is finding the sums and differences of decimals. So they're giving us all of these problems in fraction form, and we need to find the answer in decimal form. So we're gonna be relating these two decimals. So 25 and 3 tenths, I'm gonna turn into 25 and 3 tenths plus 376 and 77 hundredths. So I can write that as 376 and 77 hundredths. So what's nice is if you remember from fifth grade how we say decimals is how and how we write them, then like this is the tenths place, hundredths place, thousandths place, then what you say when you say it as a fraction is how you write it as a decimal. So you need to think back to fifth grade and bring those memories back. I'm gonna put a zero here to make this in the hundredths place since this one's also in the hundredths place. Now my, let's estimate this. So my estimate would be about 25 plus 376 and That would be equal to, let's see, 5 plus 6 is 11, carry the 1, 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 7 is 10. So my estimate is about 401. Now you also could have rounded, so maybe some people saw that that was 77 hundredths and might have rounded this up to 377. You can do that too, but it's an estimate, so no estimate is perfect. Okay, so now I'm just gonna add them and my answer should be around 401. So let's do, I'll put the bigger number on top. 376 and 77 hundredths plus 25 and 30 hundredths. Remember, the decimal point must line up and then you bring it straight down when you're adding or subtracting. So seven plus zero is seven, seven plus three is 10, Carry the 1, 1 plus 6 is 7, plus 5 is 12, carry the 1, 1 plus 7 is 8, plus 2 is 10, carry the 1, and 1 plus 3 is 4. So our answer is 402 and 7 hundredths, which is very close to 401. Example 2, 426 and 1 fifth minus 275 and 1 half. So here they didn't give it to us in a uh, like in tenths or hundredths. So we're gonna need to figure out one fifth and one half. So one fifth, I'm just gonna make it out of tenths because I can. Five times two is 10, one times two is two. So this is 426 and two tenths and two tenths. And then minus 275 and a half. Well, if we know a half, is in fraction form, we should know, is 0.5. So 275.5 or 5 tenths. So now I'm going to make an estimate. And this time I will round. So 426 and 2 tenths, this is a 2, so I'm just going to leave, that's going to make the 6 stay the same. So 426 minus 275 and 5 tenths. The five tells me to round up, so I'll do 276. We would get 12 minus seven is five, three minus two is one. So my estimate is 150. So we should get something around 150. Now let's actually subtract. Bring the decimal point straight down, and I'm going to have to borrow right away. So borrow from the 5, this becomes 12 minus 5 is 7, 5 minus 5 is 0, 2 minus 7 I need to borrow, 12 minus 7 is 5, and 3 minus 2 is 1. So we get 150 and 7 tenths, which is very close to our estimate of 150. All right, exercises. Calculate each sum or difference. 
Samantha and her friends are going on a road trip that is 245 and 750th miles long. They've already driven 128 and 53 hundredths. How much further do they have to drive? So the whole road trip is 245 and 750ths. They've already driven 120, 128 miles and 53 hundredths. We don't know how much further, so we're going to subtract 128 and 53 hundredths so that we can figure out how much is left, how much further they need to go. Now this, 128 and 53 hundredths, I can easily make a fraction because it's already out of hundredths. But 7 fiftieths isn't, so I'm just going to take 7 fiftieths and make it into hundredths because I can easily multiply 50 times 2 and get 100, and 7 times 2 is 14. So we have 14 hundredths, 245 and 14 hundredths. Now let's estimate. So my estimate, 245 and 14 hundredths, I'll leave as 245, minus 128 and 53 hundredths, this one, I'll round that to a 9. Need to borrow. 15 minus 9 is 6, 3 minus 2 is 1, and 2 minus 2, 2 minus 1 is 1. So my estimate is about 116. And my actual answer, I'm going to do 245 and 14 hundredths minus 128 and 53 hundredths. So decimal point straight down, and we can just subtract. 1 minus 5, I need to borrow. 11 minus 5 is 6. 4 minus 8, got to borrow. 14 minus 8 is 6. 3 minus 2 is 1, and 2 minus 1 is 1. So I get 116 and 61 hundredths miles left to go. Number two, Ben needs to replace two sides of his fence. One side is 367 and 9 hundredths meters long, and the other is 329 and 3 tenths meters long. How much fence does Ben need to buy? So he's replacing two sides, this side and this side. We want to know how much they are together. So we're going to be adding. 367 and 9 hundredths plus 329 and 3 tenths. And I like this problem because they're already in hundredths and tenths, which makes it easy for us to go ahead and put them in decimals. So 367 and 9 hundredths, so 9 hundredths plus 329 and three tenths, and I'll just go ahead and put a zero in the hundredths place. So now if I want to estimate, I'll have 367, and I'm just going to leave it at 367 because that's a zero, plus 329, the three, that would make the nine stay the same. So 7 plus 9 is 16, 1 plus 6 is 7, plus 2 is 9, and 3 plus 3 is 6. So my estimate is about three, 696. Now let's actually add them together. So 367 and 9 hundredths plus 329 and 30 hundredths. Bring the decimal point straight down. 9 plus 0 is 9, 0 plus 3 is 3. 7 plus 9 is 16, carry the 1. 1 plus 6 is 7, plus 2 is 9, and 3 plus 3 is 6. So 696 and 39 hundredths meters is how much he needs to buy. Number 3. Mike wants to paint his new office with two different colors. If he needs 4 and 4 fifths gallons of red paint and 3 and 1 tenths gallons of brown paint, how much paint does he need to buy in total? So 4 and 4 fifths, are we adding or subtracting? Well, we want to know how much he has in total, so we want to know how much they are together. That means we're adding plus 3 and 1 tenth. 
So 3 and 1 tenth, I can go ahead and make 3 and 1 tenth, and I'll just add a zero for the hundredths place. 4 and 4 fifths, that I need to make out into tenths or hundredths. So I'm, I can make it into tenths. we get 8 tenths, so 4 and 8 tenths, like that. And if I wanted to estimate, I would get 4 and 8 tenths, I'm going to round that to 5, plus 3 and 1 tenth, 3. So my estimate is 8, and if I actually add them, I'm just going to leave 3 and 1 tenth, because we don't need the 0 we get 7 and 9 tenths, which is very close to 8. And let's see, we can, that would be 7 and 9 tenths gallons. Number 4. After Ariana completed some work, she figured she'd still had 78 and 21 hundredths pictures to paint. If she completed another 34 and 23 25 pictures, how many pictures does Ariana still have to paint? Okay, so she had 78 and 21 hundredths pictures. She completed 34 and 23 25 How much does she still have? So if we want to know how much she still has, we're going to be subtracting 78 and 21 hundredths minus 34 and 23 twenty-fifths. So 78 and 21 hundredths minus 25 we need to make into either 10 or 100. And 10 is not going to work, so let's make it into 100. So find an equivalent fraction, multiply by 4, 23 times 4 would be 92. So this would be 34 and 92 hundredths. Okay, so let's do an estimate. If I had 78 and 21 hundredths, I'll leave that at 78 minus 34 and 92 hundredths. I'm going to make that 35. 78 minus 35 would get us 43. So our estimate is 43. And then if I actually subtract, bring my decimal down, I need to borrow. 11 minus 2 is 9. 1 minus 9, I need to borrow. 11 minus 9 is 2. 7 minus 4 is 3. 7 minus 3 is 4. So we get 43 and 29 hundredths pictures that she still needs to paint. Use a calculator to convert the fractions into decimals before calculating the sum or difference. Rozelle wants to determine how much gasoline he and his wife use in a month. He calculated that he used 78 and one-third gallons of gas last month. Rozelle's wife used 41 and 3 eighths gallons of gas last month. How much total gas did Rozelle and his wife use last month? Round your answer to the nearest hundredth. So he used 78 and one third gallons. His wife used 41 and 3 eighths. We want to know how much they used together. So we're going to add. Now it's saying that we can use a calculator because one third isn't something that we can easily make into 100. Like there's nothing, there's no whole number that we can multiply to get 100. So we're going to use a calculator to make this a little bit easier. And all we're going to have to do, remember, one third is a, a fraction is a division problem. So we just need to do one divided by three, and we'll get. 0 0.33333 goes on inf infinite times. So this, we just need to take it to the, so we have 78.333. I'm just going to leave it at the thousandths place because it says round it to the nearest hundredth. So I'm going to take this and round to the nearest hundredth, which would just leave it at 78 and 33 hundredths. 
Now let's do 41 and 3 eighths. So we're going to do 3 divided by 8. I get 375 thousandths. But we need to round to the nearest hundredth. So here's the hundredths place. So we're going to look. That's a 5, so this becomes an 8. So plus 41 and 38 hundredths. Now let's go ahead and add them together. Three plus eight is eleven. Carry the one. One plus three is four. Plus three is seven. Eight plus one is nine. Seven plus four is eleven. So we get one hundred nineteen and seventy-one hundredths gallons of gas.